Happy Vlogmas, guys. We are here again with another day of Vlogmas. Today is gingerbread house decorating day. And not just a house, but a village. Yes. So I hired Bobby as my contractor to build these homes for us. And uh, then we're gonna decorate it and we wanted to show you guys us decorating them. Yes, and I'm gonna do a simple technique. Instead of using the icing to hold these bad boys together, I'm gonna use the hot glue gun for a perfect solid foundation. And quicker. Yes. All right, let's see. Here, here's our little village. So Bobby, have you ever seen Squid Games? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you, okay, you can't break them. This is our walls and our foundation. But if you do, we'll just hot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just hot glue gun them together. Oh yeah, it's really easy. I think they just snap apart. Yeah, like this one. Oh, oh you made me so nervous. Don't be nervous, my child. Boom. You know what, we need something to put these on. Okay, Bobby's technique. How's it coming along? It's coming along great. They hold so easily. Wow. And the glue dries really fast too. He's already done these two. And then I put the candies in little glasses for us. Got our piping bag and put the frosting. Ah. Beautiful. One more to go. All right, and then we'll start decorating. I'm prepping our bags. Put the frosting in. We each have our own bag. Kind of cold. <laughs> Do you have to sit on this? <laughs> All right, we have our little houses assembled. I'm opening up these candied Christmas lights, which might be way too big now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> and we're gonna start decorating. Look, you know what look you're going for? I'm trying to think, but the creative juices flow. I don't know. Yeah, just gonna like, see what we got. I'm gonna start by piping, so filling in all the gaps. Let me get a start. I can always copy my van. The house is. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like they really skimped out on the frosting for us. It's like I'm I know. Out. Imagine if we were supposed to use that to build the, the thing. Well, there's a little bit left in the. gingerbread houses and it'd be a competition we used to go to my cousin's house and they have like menudo tamales all the all the food and we'll have a competition and our grandma would be the one to vote the best gingerbread house i must say i do remember winning a couple times mm. um yeah that's always fun we got paired up in teams it was like teams of three or four and we'll just go at it I think I did it with you guys once. I think we won that round too. <laughs> you know what we need? We need those little like precise tweezers. You know I, what I'm talking I, about? I do know exactly what you're talking about. I need those, the like curved ones. It's hard to do with long nails. it and I want to sprinkle these on here but none of them are sticking <laughs> so it's not working <laughs> not even one I think the frosting's drying too quickly look at my front look at that precision oh wow I know 
That's really good. So I guess I gotta stick them on there. Hmm. That's good though. Here's a little sneak peek of my other one. Bobby's is cute. Look at that. With a little spiky roof. Oh, and then I got the tweezers so I can have my precision. There it goes. How's it going? Coming along. We each have another house to do. But I think the small houses are so easy to do. Oh, yeah. By far. So what Angela do is painstaking process of <laughs> picking everything up. <laughs> Looks like she's doing three whites and one green. I'm just doing whatever color my tweezers pick up. Alright you guys, well show you the progress a little later. Okay, I had to stand up and take a little break. My back hurts. This is back breaking stuff. Building and decorating a cabin. Like it's hard work. It's hard work. So I'm taking a little break and I am looking for a utensil to use to put on the frosting on the roof. And the houses are coming along greatly. Super cute, let me show you guys. Here's my first one. The tweezers helped a lot to get the little ones on there. Here's Bobby's. Ooh, I like how you do your windows. Thank you. Super cute, got the hedges on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Still working in the front. Okay, we'll reveal that later. I still have this whole thing to do. Bobby's almost done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that first one took too much attention. And look how simple it is. Simple. Not even anything extravagant. Okay. I need to get cracking. Crack a wagon. All right. So I stuck some lights on. I used the hot glue gun method. Works so good. It works way better than having to try to use the frosting to stick, huh, Bob? Oh, yeah. Big time. Look, they look so cute. The big old huge light bulbs. Some fresh snow on the roof. And that done. You gotta add some more sprinkles. I don't even want to show you guys Bobby's yet. I'm gonna wait to reveal until he's done because they look amazing. Mm -hmm. Twinkly Light Village, where they go all out for Christmas. There was just some snow on the forecast, so we got some snow on the roofs. We got snow on the hedges, and um, they're very festive. There's like a candy cane lane where they put all their Christmas lights out. Um, we have. A wreath right there. Don't get the back of this one. <laughs> the back of this house is done. And then here's a little cabin as well. Just a simple theme. They got one big light on top. And then they got their snow covered hedges as well. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm very proud of it. I think this is the best one I've ever done. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks very uh, detailed with the color coordination. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And the hedges with the snow on top. It's yeah, very creative. Yeah, thank you. I think it's cute. I would live in there. And it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really good. And that's it for my village. Let's do Bobby's now. Okay. So here's my cabin with the little guest house in the back. 
so all my visitors will be comfortable as well. Um, it's a little lane going up there leading up to the house. There was snow and it chilled pretty quickly, so you see the icicles surrounding the whole entire house. Wow. Oh, I like your roof. Thank you. In the back as well. And this one got a little crazy with the spiky hair. That's a little... <laughs> there come the buttons. And big lights. It's very festive. I love it. Oh, I like your little wreath back there. Yeah, little wreath. As it goes going around, hedges on the each side of the house. Beautiful. And that is my cabin with the little guest house. Do you have a name of your little cabin and guest house? It's the mistletoe cabin. Oh, mistletoe cabin is the cutest. Oh my gosh, I would love to stay at mistletoe cabin. Oh yeah. And the little casita in the back. I like the door. Oh, thank you. You cute. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I would say 10 out of 10. Thank you. I give it a 10 out of 10. All right, you guys, we had so much fun putting these together. They came out so cute. Mm -hmm. We're missing yours. There we go. We've, um, we were both saying, I think this is like the best gingerbread houses we've ever made. I agree. I don't know if it's because they're small, but I liked that we were able to do two. Mm -hmm. So we have two different designs. Yeah, I think the smaller ones make it where all the detail work you want to do is not as tedious as if it was a big gingerbread house. So mm -hmm. on my roof, I was able to do the detail work, no problem. And, and not, not the icicles. Yeah, not the icicles. I don't have to worry about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, liked our gingerbread houses that we made in our new tradition that we will do for yeah. Christmas time. All right, you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we only have a few more Vlogmas left. So we'll see you next time. And thank you to my lovely assistant, Bobby. It's a pleasure. My, <laughs> my contractor, my home builder. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas time is here. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.